I'm here in our field tulip trial here on the Johnny's Research Farm in Albion, Maine. It is April 14th and just wanted to take a quick look at our field tulip trial. These usually start blooming for us in the beginning of May and our tulip season, once it starts, is pretty fast and furious and it always feels too short. And so one of the ways that we extend our tulip season a little bit longer is by planting into an unheated tunnel as well as into our field planting. So I just wanted to show our field planting here as a point of reference. This is, again, the middle of April. These have two or three more weeks probably before they're going to be blooming and we'll be able to harvest from them. So next we'll head out to our overwinter tunnel and take a look at the tulips there. So I'm here in our overwintered tunnel planting. I'm here in front of our tulip trial. And this as a follow up to what we saw out in the field a few minutes ago, this is what an, an overwintered tunnel planting of tulips looks like for us in the middle of April. So it's April 14th. We're still probably three weeks out from when our field tulips will be ready for harvesting. But you can see that there are a lot of blooms here that are ready for harvesting that um, we and a lot that are coming on as well. And so I just wanted to give a sense of the seasonality and how by planting in the tunnel, we're able to extend our tulip season by about four weeks, depending a little bit on the year. Um, so if you are planting tulips in a tunnel, um, we uh, just a few things that we do, we plant the same way we would plant into a field, into a trench. So we dig a trench along the beds, six to eight inches deep, we plant the tulip bulbs in, um, in the base of the trench, tightly planted, same as we would for the field. They're all kind of shoulder to shoulder. We pack as many in as we can, and then we cover them over with soil. One thing that we do differently from the field planting is that we water in the tunnel tulips heavily at planting. They're not gonna get you know, the fall rains that a field planting of tulips probably would, and so we want them well watered while they're rooting in in the fall. Um, and we also, we will plant our tunnel tulips a little bit later than our field planting as well. Our field tulips go in the ground in the middle of October, um, right around October 15th. And then we usually, in sometime in the next couple of weeks, we'll get this planting in. It's not as much of a rush because we don't worry about the ground freezing here. So we have a little bit of a, a longer window for getting these in the ground, plant them, water them in, and then um, we, leave them for the winter. Um, we typically start seeing shoots emerge from the soil in the beginning of March. And so another thing that we do a little bit differently from the field is that in the end of February and the, or the beginning of March, we do provide some water to this planting as well as those bulbs are starting to grow and to push up through the soil, they're gonna need some moisture. And so in a field planting, they would naturally be getting that from snow melt. Um, in the tunnel, they aren't getting that. And so we will bring in a little bit of water um, to water them in again, like late February, early March, kind of depending on the year. And another thing that we have done as well, um, before the shoots have emerged, sometimes we have just shoveled in snow onto the beds and let the snow melt down into the beds. Um, I think it really depends on what works for your system. But definitely once the shoots have started to emerge, um, then we hand water typically. And then once our irrigation system is able to be up and running, we put drip irrigation down these beds. And so this bed currently has drip irrigation on it just to make sure that these are getting enough water as they're actively growing. They grow really fast and they put on a lot of vegetative growth. So we're wanting to support that. And finally, we typically start seeing things color up in here, usually the first week of April. And so it does, it can shift a little bit depending on the spring. So if it's a cold, cloudy spring, then bloom dates can shift by a week or two. And, or if it's, um, if it's a hot, clear, sunny spring, there's a lot more solar gain inside the tunnel. And so that'll push things along a little bit faster. You can extend your season to within the tunnel planting by choosing from earlier blooming and later blooming varieties. So we, have, we do have different types here. We have um, Darwin hybrids, which are 
right in front of me. They tend to be the tallest with really large blooms. And then further down the line, you can see some double early and double late tulips. And then behind that, we have some parrot tulips and some single blooming varieties. So the broader your assortment is, the more likely you'll be able to have a longer season in your tunnel. And if you're looking for more information on variety selection and how to extend your season that way, you can find um, more information on all of these varieties on our website. If you would like to extend your tulip season beyond what you can do in a field um, and you have access to a tunnel, this can be a really simple, straightforward way to add another three or four weeks onto your growing season.